Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to record live audio and all the things that you need in order for that live sound to be recorded and played back on your computer. So the first thing you need to record your audio is going to be a microphone. I've got this microphone right here. This one requires phantom power, but you can do this with any microphone. This one, for example, here does not require power, and I'll get into that a little bit later. So the next thing you need is going to be a cable that plugs into the microphone. Right here I already have an XLR cable plugged into this mic. Generally speaking, XLR cables are going to be the best type of cable, but technically you can use any kind of cable that works with your microphone. The next thing you need is called an audio interface. This is an example of an audio interface. This one is the one I use. This is going to be the middleman between your microphone and your computer. The next thing you need is going to be your USB cable that connects your audio interface to your computer. Plug in your USB cable into your audio interface and then plug the other end of the USB into your computer. Now take the cable that's running from your microphone and plug in that cable into your audio interface. Now your microphone is connected to a cable, the cable is connected to the interface, the interface is connected to a USB cable, and the USB cable is connected to the computer. So if you have a microphone that requires phantom power like this one, you're going to need an audio interface that can supply phantom power like this one, and then you need to turn that phantom power on by pressing this button here. So now the mic's ready to go. And if you're using a microphone like this one that doesn't require phantom power, it doesn't matter if you have an audio interface that supplies phantom power, you don't need it. All right, so now that all this stuff is ready to go, you can turn on the software. In this case, I'm using Ableton Live, but these steps are going to be the same for any kind of audio recording software that you're using. Okay, so now you have your microphone plugged into your audio interface, audio interface plugged into your computer, and your computer is running your audio recording software, in this case Ableton Live. I also have two studio monitors that are plugged into the audio interface, and those things are going to be able to play back the sound that we, that we record. Otherwise, you can plug in headphones here and listen through headphones, or you can just listen to your laptop speakers if you really have to. Pull up an audio track. You can't do this on a MIDI track. It has to be on an audio track. So find your audio track here. If you need a new audio track, right-click, insert audio track. So on your audio track, press the arm button right here. It's going to be the circle button that turns red. And then press the arm button up here, the other circle button. That's going to turn red too. And then press the play button, or else space bar is the same thing to start recording audio. All right, so now we're, we're recording audio through the microphone here, and it's going into the computer here. And we're just doing a little check, a little test to record some audio. Check, check, one, two, check, one, two. Press space bar to stop. And then if you want to hear the audio you just recorded, click anywhere in the audio track. I got my speakers running. We're just doing a little check, a little test to record some audio. Check, check, one, two, check, one, two. All right, and that just worked, so. And that's how you record audio in, into Ableton. Pretty easy once you know how to do it, but it can be really hard to figure out if you just don't know how to do it, if no one ever showed you. All right, thanks for watching the video. Give that thing a like, and uh, if you're looking for any of these items here, I'll put them in the link below. See you guys later.